Hey guys, welcome back to our video lecture series of geotechnical engineering. Today we are discussing about the phase diagram of soil and the phys some basic physical properties of the soil. So let's start with the phase diagram. Here you can see in the image, this is the three phase system of the soil and you are watching here soil sample. Okay. In this soil sample, there are three main contents like uh, soil solids, moisture and air voids. The combination of three these phase, a soil sample could be made, right? Here is the material component as denote sand or solid particles A denotes air voids and this dot is for moisture content which is denoted by W here to understand this we can make some figure like this three phase system in which here is a soil solids this portion is considered as a soil solids other layer is of available moisture content in that soil sample and last one is air voids right we can combine it and differentiate with the different different phases like soil water and head let's consider it in dividing two portions like volumetric and another one is weight portion right so this soil sample uh, sorry soil mass has a consider as ms and the volume considered for the soil is vs for the water content the mass is considered as a mw and the volume is considered as a vw same for the air content the mass considered as MA and the volume considered as VA. Here we know that weight of air is equal to 0 because we are living in same atmospheric pressure here. So on all the material it will be same. So we consider it as a 0. But we know that air content can be measured throughout the volume. So it is denoted by VA. Here air content and water content is considered as a volume of voids. Why? Because in the soil mass it will be stored in the voids. Either it is air or water. So we can consider it as a VA, VV. So total volume is considered as a VT. V for volume and T for total, so it has total volume. Similarly, we discuss about it that mass of air is going to be zero, right? And so that the M S and M W is considered as a total mass. Okay, mass of soil and mass of water is considered as a total mass because m a is equal to 0 next see here three phase diagram okay so it will seem like this you can see here soil solids there are too many air voids in some voids it fill with water and another are from air content clear now in some case there are two phase system two let's see the figure and can understand see if the sample of soil is totally saturated saturated means all white particles are covered with the water okay i'm talking here about 
हंड्रेड परसेंट सैचुरेसन सो इट विल बिकम सबमर्ज इफ युअर सॉइल सॉलिड्स आर सबमर्ज सबमर्ज मीन्स इट इज टोटली बिलो द वॉटर एज यू नो दैट सबमरीन सबमरीन इज अ व्हीकल विच कैन ट्रांसफर थ्रू द सी राइट इट इज टोटली इन टू द वॉटर सो हियर इज नॉट सैचुरेटेड इट इज अ सबमर्ज सॉइल okay how it can be seen in the soil sample the soil solids are totally covered with the water water is indicated in blue color right on other hand if this soil sample will be oven dried right because when we are taking a sample from the natural ground after that we are going to oven dry it right so we will know the moisture content of natural soil so here is the sample if it will be oven dried then it will seems like this nothing right only soil solids and the voids are totally covered air voids hope you guys understand about three phase and two phase so now let's understand about phase diagram for the purpose of study and analysis it is convenient to present the soil by phase diagram system which part of the diagram representing the solid particles a part representing water or liquid and another part air or other gas as we discussed earlier so from the first figure we can understand about volumetric and weight proportion of the soil similarly here wt is a total weight ws is weight of solids ww is considered as weight of water and wa is considered as weight of air which is equal to zero similarly manner vt is considered as total volume this vs is a volume of solids this here vw is volume of water from here to here and vv is a total volume of voids so which is considered as a va and vw va is a volume of air plus vw is is equal to vv total volume of voids here i differentiate some equation with the volumetric ratio weight ratio and unit weight ratio so let's understand about volumetric ratio here are some property based on the three phase system first one is void ratio void ratio is denoted by small e okay so the void ratio is the ratio of volume of solids to the volume of solid volume of void which is denoted by v v okay v v is equal to v a plus v w v a is volume of air v w is volume of water so the equation of void ratio is e is equal to v v upon v s the another equation is porosity porosity is denoted by n small n the porosity is equal to n the porosity is the ratio of volume of void to the total volume of soil sample so basic difference is between void ratio and porosity in void ratio we can take vv upon vs and in porosity we can take vv upon vt vt is equal to total volume of soil into 100 here we can take percentage that's why multiplying with the 100 in all civil uh, sorry geotechnical engineering equations 
we can take void ratio okay because we in geotechnical engineering or soil mechanics or foundation engineering we have to deal with the soil solids so that here we are going to take void ratio with all the equation you can see in an uh, next lectures about index property of soil you can see everywhere a void ratio only not a porosity okay because in the porosity it is a total volume in total volume there is a volume of solid volume of water and volume of air but for the functional use in this geotechnical engineering either runs soil mechanics we have to deal with the soil solids only because total strength of the soil sample is only because of soil solids that's why we are going to take void ratio instead of porosity the third one is degree of saturation degree of saturation is denoted by sr the value of sr is lies between 0 to 100 percent if the degree of saturation is considered as zero then the soil sample is dry and the degree of saturation is considered as 100 percent then it is considered as 100 percent saturated sample so the degree of saturation is the ratio of total volume of void contains water to total volume of voids okay so the equation will become s is equal to vw upon vv okay here we are going to take percentage that's why multiply by 100 here vw is volume of water and the vv is total volume of voids which can contain volume of water plus volume of air next weight ratio in weight ratio we can take this sides of three phase system a water content is a weight ratio for water content is denoted by w so water content is the ratio of weight of water upon weight of soil solids here we are going to take only soil solids so we can consider a soil sample okay after we are going to own write and take the weight of the soil sample already we have taken a soil sample in natural condition after deduction the natural condition and over dry condition we can get the water content so here you can see the water content equation is w is equal to weight of water upon weight of solid into 100 the next unit weight ratio in unit weight ratio i divide it in four equation first one is dry unit weight a dry unit weight is denoted by gamma d so the gamma d is equal to the ratio of weight of soil solids upon total volume of soil we already know that the density as equation is weight by volume or mass over volume so here the dry density is ws upon vt weight of soil solids upon volume total volume of soil sample the another equation is bulk unit weight bulk unit weight is nothing but total weight of soil sample divided by total volume of soil sample so the equation will become for the bulk density is vs plus sorry ws plus ww divided by vt here we can take ws plus ww and not taken as wa because we know that the weight of air is become zero for this three phase system so 
if you put a total weight of soil sample is equal to wa plus ww plus ws then the bit the value of wa is equal to 0 so it will become ws plus ww upon vt total volume of soil then saturated unit weight Consider S is equal to 100% and the volume of air is equal to 0. As we know, a saturated proof phase system or submerged proof phase system diagram. Gamma saturated is the ratio of weight of soil solids plus water divided by total volume of soil. So, weight of soil solid plus water is considered as ws plus w w divided by vt then fourth one is submerged unit weight submerged unit weight is denoted by gamma dash the gamma dash is the value of gamma saturation minus gamma w here submerged means the soil sample is below the water table in a natural condition. Here gamma saturation will be taken as from the equation of gamma saturation and minus gamma w which is the value of density of water. We know that the density of water is 1 gram per cc or 10 kN per meter cube. Here take a note the density or a unit weight are the ratio which connects the volumetric side of the phase diagram with the mass or weight side. Next specific gravity of soil. The ratio of the weight of solid particles to the weight of an equal volume of distilled water at the 4 degree. So, the specific gravity is denoted by G S S in a subscript. Capital G is denoted by, uh, sorry, is a notation of specific gravity. The equation of specific gravity is weight of solid upon volume of solid into gamma W of that material to the unit weight of water at 4 degree centigrade the specific gravity of a certain material is the ratio of the unit weight why the specific gravity of soil solid is often needed for various calculation in soil mechanics here i know here i told you that the specific gravity of certain material is the ratio of the unit weight. So, from this equation G is equal to Ws upon Vs into gamma W. We know that the weight of solid upon volume of solid is nothing but a density of solid. So, it is denoted by gamma S. So, the equation will become for specific gravity is G is equal to gamma S upon gamma W. Density of solid upon density of water. Density of water is 1 gram per cc. Here, there are two values to determine specific uh, to determine the specific gravity. The G W with specific gravity of water is 1, and the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6. These two values are given to determine other value of the soil. So, let's take a look of the expected value of specific gravity for different type of soil. Here, I give the type of soil sand. The specific gravity lies between 2.65 to 2.67. For the silty sand, the value lies between 2.67 to 2.7. For inorganic clay, 
the values of specific gravity lies between 2.7 to 2.8 for the soils with mica or iron it's a mineral mica is a mineral of soil the specific gravity lies between 2.75 to 3 and the specific gravity for the organic soil it will be greater than 2 so these are the expected value of specific gravity today we complete our lecture to here thank you for listening see you in the next lecture